how you guys doing? My name is Josie Carr. It's been a while since I've done a how-to video. I'm going to try to keep it short because I noticed you guys like short videos, getting right to the point. I had to take a time out just to make sure that uh, my gear was updated, obviously, to give you guys more information and to take care of the physical and mental health, which I encourage everyone that's a creative to do. We have to take care of ourselves, otherwise we can't continue to create great art. So please make sure that you do that. Uh, today's topic, I'll be talking about Logic and Ableton, how to work them together via Rewire, a plugin that was discontinued by Propellerheads and which I truly, truly just love and I just hate the fact that they discontinued it. So before we do that, a little bit about me. I am an electronic musician, producer, and an NYU professor for electronic music and software. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, uh, remember, the plugging was discontinued by Propellerheads. I was online trying to find out how to make the situation work. And of course, I ran into Andrew Wang's video or channel, which everyone should know by now because he is super awesome at what he does. I'll uh, add a link at the bottom of the video so you guys can follow him as well and check out everything if you don't already know him because he's a big guy in the internet for how-tos. One second, let me just adjust some things here and we'll get right to it. Great, so let's do it. Um, there are a few things we're gonna need to know. First again, I sound like a broken record, but the plugin was discontinued by Propellerheads. It's rewired. What it allows us to do, it allows us to use Logic and Ableton Live together so we can have the audio from Ableton come through Logic and they could be in perfect sync and life is beautiful. There are a lot of plugins that do the same thing, but this one does it seamlessly, so why mess it up? Propellerheads, hint, hint bring it back so in any case let's do it um first thing we need to do is uh for me is to share my screen so let me do that with you guys fantastic so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to have to set up a few things first of all we're going to have to set up the uh command to let logic know in ableton that they're going to be working with this uh workaround so let's option click on the go menu an option click when you option click on it it just brings it brings this library thing here up you know watch if i don't hold option it is, it's not there but if i hold the option it comes up so it's kind of hidden right so here we go we'll select that it opens up the library okay and we're going to go over to preferences right here we're going to open that up okay and we're going to go to ableton and whatever version of Ableton you are using is the folder that you are going to add this workaround to. I am using the latest one, which is 11.1.6, so I'm going to open up that folder. Inside that folder, you guys will see that it has some information and whatnot, and that is where we're actually going to put in the workaround. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is, once that's open, is we're going to go to the text edit because we have to write a command. Okay, so I'm just going to open that up. And let's add a command. And what this is essentially telling, uh, what we're doing here is essentially we're telling Ableton, hey, when you launch, this is what you need to do. You need to enable rewire. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we open up an empty text editor. And in there, we're just gonna type negative sign, enable rewire. Okay, and then we're just gonna go to save. Okay, and we wanna save it as options, right? And we'll call that options. I already have one on my desktop, so I'm just going to click on it. So it just adds it to it. Okay. And we're going to hit save. In my case, I already have it, so I'm not going to save it. So you guys will save it. Okay. I'm going to close it. It's going to ask me to save it. I've already done it. I don't need to do it. And you guys will see that it's here on my desktop. And you guys can see that it's there. Fantastic. So I have it all set up. And now remember that folder we opened up earlier? We're just simply just going to take it from there, drag it right inside that folder. Again, it's going into the live folder. So live understands that when it launches, it has to enable the rewire plugin. Okay. So we're all set there. Now let's do the next phase and which is launching logic and saying, Hey logic, I need you to understand that we are now using rewire from Ableton. So let's launch logic pro first before we launch Ableton. Okay, and it's gonna launch. And I'm probably just gonna edit this so it'll be a lot faster because I do have a lot of plugins. Okay, great, now it has launched. So now let's go to Preferences and Logic and we'll go to Audio. Fantastic, and here at the bottom you guys will see that I'm on Preferences and I'm on the Audio tab and I'm scrolling all the way to the bottom here 
and it's asking me what the rewired behavior is. So in other words, when Logic um, launches, is it going to use the rewire plugin? We have to let it know, yes, please do that. Now we can choose two options. The two options are playback and live mode. If you guys need to learn more, there's a video on my YouTube channel, which is a link for, I will add as well. And you guys can learn the differences between both of them. For now, I'm just gonna choose playback mode and keep it very simple. And I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, basically I'm turning on rewire in Logic, so Logic will, t will recognize Ableton when it launches with the rewire plugin. Okay, so now let's close out of here. Great, so now it's on, and let's do a new session here. Okay, I already have one set up, right? But in any case, Let's do a new one. So we have rewire on and so forth, right? So next thing we're gonna do here is we are going to go to the mixer. Okay, and we're gonna add an auxiliary track. We can do it on the option of using the shortcut control N. Okay, and now if we go into the input of this track and we go up here, it will say Ableton Live and we can take the mix left and right output. By the way, the, this is the cool thing about it, is that you can add as many auxiliary tracks as you want and bring in as many audio tracks from Ableton directly into Logic with Rewire. I mean, why would they discontinue that? I don't know. Again, there's a lot of other options, but whatever. If anyone knows why, please write it in the comments and we'll see. So here we're all set up. Now the next thing we have to do, obviously, is launch live. And let's launch live. And when we're launching live, if we take a look at it, you're gonna see that live will say that it is running in rewire device, you see that? And that's exactly what we want, right? So remember now, all we're essentially doing here is saying, hey, work together, and the master is going to be logic for audio purposes, okay? Playback can happen from either um, Ableton or logic, okay? And I'll, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna close the mixer here for a moment and I'm gonna hit play and you guys can see that it starts logic, which is fantastic. And the, and the reverse could happen, it doesn't matter. They're in sync, they're always gonna be in sync. You see, I can hit play here and they both start, which is great. So we're working lovely, but now we need to hear the audio going into logic. Great, let's just use this uh, metronome here and let me make sure the audio is not too loud to hurt us here. Just gonna lower it, okay. We'll go back to Logic and we'll go back to the mixer here. And let's bring up the audio, right? I'm gonna option click on it. Okay, and I'm gonna hit play. And there we go. We are getting the audio from Logic directly into, from Ableton directly into it. Okay. And that's essentially it. That's all you have to do. Now the cool thing about this is this, check it out. If I were to open this up here quickly and just grab any random loop, let's just grab any random loops. We'll take this 808 kick, I don't know what's on it, just random throw it in there. Okay. And as it's loading that, we'll grab one here from Logic, just so you can show you guys that they're together. We'll grab any loop that's there. Let's extend it a little bit, whoops, let's loop it a little bit. Okay, and now we'll play from here. Okay, let's turn off this click here. And now let's play this 808. Let me make sure you guys are actually hearing that. Let's try something else here. Crazy stuff, but you guys get the idea, right? We'll put it there. And lastly, this is what I love about this, okay? So now we have these uh, jumps playing from there. And let me close my loops and go back to my mixer for a second. And we'll do this. Here, they're all coming out the left and right. I can assign the different tracks to different outputs here. If I go up here, Go create no auxiliary and no auxiliary. Okay, let's put them at zero, all right. Okay, we'll go back to live here. Okay, and let me close my browser here. Okay, this track is coming out the master. Instead of it coming out the master, let's make it come out out of three and four. This one will make it come out of 
5 and 6. If we go up here, this one will be 3 and 4, the input up here. We'll change it to 3 and 4. Ableton Live. Ableton Live, 5 and 6. And let's make this one quiet. The drums. And let's bring this one up. And that was a one shot, so let's make this guy play again. There you go, you see that? They have their own tracks. I can change the tempo, they both change. You can't go wrong. So there you have it guys, that is the workaround between using Logic and Ableton together via Rewire. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao for now. Bye.